Erica. Hey, Leslie, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's so good to talk to you. I know, likewise. I can't. Well, let's do it offline. We'll get caught up offline. Good deal. Okay, so let's talk weddings really quickly. Okay. If you're throwing a wedding, many couples get stumped on what kind of red and white to serve with a buffet or just right. something that'll pair with everything. Right. Can you recommend one red and one white varietal that are crowd pleasers and then um, that pair with a variety of dishes and then a couple of brand label examples? Yeah. Um, well, really you want to have options when you're selecting wines for your wedding to go with the food. Uh, so one white and one red would be a great option. I like to have Chardonnay. And the reason I do Chardonnay is because it is the most popular white wine in America. And the key is to get a style that is crisp and refreshing. You don't want an overblown, big, oaky style of Chardonnay. What you want to do is something that's food friendly. So look for that crispness. Look for keywords, whether it's the central coast of California or uh, Chardonnays from Oregon or even Chardonnays from New Zealand. You can have some excellent, excellent cho uh, choices with Chardonnay that are very, very food friendly. One of my favorites in the affordable category is Meridian Vineyards, which is a widely available California wine that does capture that crisp, grapefruity, citrusy quality that goes so well with everything from shrimp to chicken. So about $10 a bottle and uh, easy to stock up on. And the label looks beautiful, so if you're presenting it at a wedding. And then in terms of having a red wine, something you know for those savory, fuller dishes, uh, I like Merlot is a nice choice, but really a hot choice is Shiraz, or Syrah, as people call it as well. And um, a top choice for me that I have in my wedding wines chapter in my book, The Simple and Savvy Wine Guide, is Rosemont. And another widely available wine, this one's from Australia, and it's around $10 a bottle, $12 a bottle. This is the diamond label. And it's got that smoky, kind of sexy quality to it, so it goes great with meats. It's very fruit driven, so people really enjoy drinking it. And um, what I like about the new one is that it's got a diamond shaped bottom. So pretty appropriate in terms of giving it as a gift or having it at your wedding. It's really a nice wine. Cool. Goes great with chocolate, too. Excellent. <laughs> okay, so here's another one. Say it's your wedding night, you've said goodbye to the guests, and finally have time for just the two of you, perhaps over a bottle of wine. Is there a specific wine or varietal that you consider sexy enough to be liquid foreplay? <laughs> Yes, there's lots of wines, liquid for, for play, or I call them belly button sippers. So you can have certainly the sweetie dessert wines like Sauternes or um, Muscat's uh, beautiful um, Asti's uh, and Spumantes from Italy that are sparkling. Uh, you can also have any kind of bubbles, which I adore. If I had to, to have one wine for the rest of my life, it would certainly be bubbles, and they are sexy. So you can go with champagnes. If you want a little sweetness, look for the words extra dry or demi-sec on the label, and those have a little bit more sweetness in them. If you want to have something affordable, you can look for sparkling wines from Spain named Cava. You can look for um, uh, California sparkling wines, uh, uh, certainly from Washington State, but you can also do ones from Australia. There's lots coming in now, and one of my favorites is called Pink, appropriately enough. And it is a beautiful pink wine uh, made from Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, and the label has pink on it and you can even you know if you want to really impress somebody drape a little piece of jewelry right over the bottle and um, that would be enough foreplay for anyone. <laughs> That's a nice idea. So I was actually going to ask you, leads to my next question, do you have some fun and distinctive ways to serve wine or to make a gift bottle look extra cool? I think one of the funnest ways is to use the bottle as the delivery gift for something else. So if you are giving a piece of jewelry, a bracelet, a necklace, even a pair of earrings, you can tie them on a ribbon or just drape them right over the bottle. And if you want, you can, of course, put that in a bag as well. But the bottle becomes the way that you give the gift, and that is so wonderful. You can even include two champagne flutes if you want to really go all out. Um, but you can also uh, tie a recipe card, bundle it with something else. So if you are giving chocolates, maybe you're giving a tawny port or a dessert wine, you know, tie around some nuts, some gourmet chocolates, uh, tie around uh, a favorite recipe of yours for fondue, uh, or you could even give some, some, you know, fondue makings right there. So really think about adding on to the way that you might use the wine. Super cute. One more question for you. If you can give, you know, wine can be really intimidating to people. What's the advice that you would give to people who look at the wine shelves and just sort of freak out? Don't ever worry about if you're making the right choice with wine. Wine is all about fun and enjoyment. So don't be intimidated by people who say they know more about wine than you. It's all about what you enjoy. So the best way to do that is buy and try. And start a tasting club. 
Um, you can get together with your girlfriends or with your friends, other couples, and once a month do a wine tasting party. You all chip in for the case of wine, you put 12 bottles on the table and you pair it with different foods, and believe it or not, you will know a lot about wine in a very quick time. That's great. Thanks, Leslie. Bye, Erica. <laughs> Have a good day. See ya. Bye. I know her. <laughs>